Hey everyone, welcome to my top five worst Zippo accessories video. Uh, today we're going to be going over top five accessories to stay away from when you're browsing the internet. And I'm going to go over why you shouldn't buy them. Uh, please enjoy. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment, and share. Anything you do does help the channel. And if you want to further help my channel, please donate to my Patreon. Only subscribers like Kilo Tango are going to be entered in the draw, so make sure you get on my Patreon and subscribe so you can get more entries into the draw when I do the giveaway in the new year. You're not going to want to be missing out on this. I'm going to be giving away Zippos and fuel canisters. Now that we got that out of the way, let's carry on with the video. Here's the top five worst Zippo accessories. At the bottom of the list, we have number five. In the dreaded leather pouch, uh, this thing has been ruining the defacing and scratching Zippos for years. Uh, I owned one before, I kept a Zippo in it, and just a short period of a year, it ruined the entire face of my Zippo. Uh, if you look back and see my dad's Zippo, you'll see he used to keep his in one too, and it ruined all the sides of his Zippos. It's just so much rubbing and wear and tear. I don't like it for that reason. It, maybe it is handy to have on a side belt and use as a pouch. I understand that, and if that's what you like, you can go ahead and use it. And next on our list is number four. Ah, uh, yes, the Z-Clip. Uh, the plastic clip to hold your Zippo. Uh, this thing, I used to own one years ago. I splurged, bought it online. I wanted it so bad, I thought it was cool because I would like a case to carry my Zippo. But this thing broke in the cold temperatures of the winter and so because of that i am issuing you in this junk and i don't like having to push up against my hip every time i want to put it on and now the middle of the list number three Unfortunately, I bought this pile of garbage online and wasted the $20 on it. Uh, I eventually threw it out because it just ripped. It doesn't do well in the cold. It makes it very less durable. And it's not dual shock like it claims to be. Uh, it just gets everything under there and scratches the crap out of your Zippo. It's just a case to hold in fibers that scratch your Zippo while it rubs. And it rips easy. The ring is junk. Everything rips off. I totally would not buy this, guys. Save your money. And that's why it's top at number three on my list. We're getting closer to that number one spot. Let's see what number two brings us. All right, I saved this one for number two because it is a deserving number two. Uh, this is the fuel gasket for the bottom of a Zippo. Uh, this beautiful piece of work here uh, doesn't work very well. The naphthol from the fluid eats it up, and there's a pretty huge YouTuber with hundreds of thousands of subscribers who did multiple reviews on this trying to get it work. All it did was just burn a bunch of fluid out the top, out the chimney, everything like that. It was terrible. And if you guys are really worried about fuel consumption in your Zippo, just use my Zippo bag trick. It's super easy, guys. All you got to do is get a sandwich bag, and then you take your Zippo insert, you hold it up to the sandwich bag, and then you cut out the exact size you need and leave a little on each side so it wraps around the insert completely because it is square. And then once you do that, fill up your Zippo, put the sandwich bag over the insert like I'm showing you in these pictures, and then slide your Zippo in your insert into your Zippo and everything's going to be fine. All right, everybody, what you've been waiting for, the number one top of the garbage pile pick is the Arc Lighter from Zippo. It is an Arc insert, rechargeable battery. I did not actually own the Zippo one, but I did own one of these inserts before, and it didn't work very well. It doesn't work in the cold. The cold kills the charge you have in your battery. Nothing really works on this. It only has 200 milliamps of power. It dies very easily, and then you have to charge it to use it. I wouldn't recommend this for anybody. It's not great for surviving in the wilderness and not something you really need, but there is other good butane inserts. So everybody, if you like what you see, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment, and share. Everything helps. And if you want to take part in the giveaways I'm doing in the new year, please subscribe to my Patreon. And thanks for watching the video. I will see you in the next one. Top 5 Best Accessories. Take care.